Hi friends, I don't know if you were with me a few minutes ago and um, I don't know if my internet is acting a little wonky in my study right now, but I was doing the live video and then it said video ended. So I have moved to my kitchen and we will see, hopefully this will work better. So we are on, as I was saying, day 26, waiting with hope. The, the good news that as we wait for all sorts of things to be decided here on this earth, that we, we have a different thing to look toward as Christians, a different reason to hope. Waiting with hope, we too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us our full rights as his adopted children, including the new bodies he has promised us, Romans 8:23. Waiting for hours to buy gas after a hurricane. Waiting for weeks for workman's compensation to authorize a surgery. Waiting for months to recover from a heart attack. Waiting for years to have one happy day after the death of a child. Whenever our stories are shattered by crisis, a season of waiting will likely follow. Waiting can be irritating at a long pharmacy drive through line but in the profound losses of a crisis, it can be agonizing. What does it look like to wait with hope as we grieve our losses? First, we must recognize the difference between earthly hope and biblical hope. Earthly hope focuses on good outcomes in the here and now, or at least the near future. There's nothing wrong with such hope hoping that the surgery is approved and that the recovery goes smoothly, hoping that the betrayal will sting less tomorrow than it does today. And yet, earthly hope is often limited by our own short-sightedness, our inability to see everything our all-seeing God sees. To all earthly hope, we need to add biblical hope. Biblical hope, as defined by Dan Allender and Tremper Longman, is a vision of redemption in the midst of decay. Biblical hope is based on faith, on remembering how God has rescued in the past. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, Hebrews 11.1. 1. Biblical hope focuses on the end of the story, the day when Jesus will return and restore all broken things Romans 8, 18 and 19. In that day, we will be restored to our Father as his adopted children, and all of creation's groaning will end in fruitful labor, Christ's perfected new creation, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. When we wait with biblical hope, we will continue to pray for God's good gifts on this earth, gas to fuel generators after a hurricane, a sweet memory on a loved one's death day. Biblical hope leads us to pray, God, if I don't get the gas today, help me be patient and trust your provision. Or if I am sad all day long, be near to me in my grief. When our earthly hopes are disappointed, biblical hope compels us to look and lean toward the final day when all things work together for good in the lives of those who trust God for life and salvation, Romans 8, 28. Dear friends, when the wait feels excruciating, remember that you have evidence that your deepest hopes will not go unfulfilled. Christ has already come to rescue and redeem. Remember what you are waiting for, glory itself. Knowing this, keep hoping with an active imagination leaning into the future, leaning into God's loving purposes in our hardest waits. Prayer. Lord, how long? This is our cry as we wait in, in impossibly long lines or, or for seemingly improbable recoveries. Draw our eyes to the horizon to, G, to see Jesus coming soon to end our grievous wait. In Jesus' already redeeming name, amen. Further encouragement, 
read Romans 8, 18 through 30, listen to Spring is Coming by Stephen Curtis Chapman. For reflection, how has waiting felt for you in this crisis? How have you been disappointed in earthly hopes? How might remembering the end of the biblical story help you to wait with patience? Thanks for joining me for 60 Days of Restoration Hope. This was day 26. And just a reminder, if you are live or watch this today, Monday, November 2nd, there is a sale going on right now. So if you want to get one for yourself and one for a friend or stock up and just kind of keep some on hand for when a friend goes through a crisis, um, today is the day $8.99 for the paperback and $4.99 for the Kindle. That is actually a really good deal. So uh, check that out and I will see you again tomorrow.